And now maybe it's time to hear some concrete examples. We will do a little deeper dive on how the data is being used to help design and implement better development projects. So the first presentation focuses on earth observation services to support water resources, agriculture, and aquaculture in Indonesia. We're very pleased to have with us here Mr. Abdul Malik Sadat Idris, the Director of Water Resources and Irrigation. So we're pleased, as I was saying, to have Mr. Abdul Malik Sadat Idris, the Director of Water Resources and Irrigation at Indonesia's Ministry of National Development Planning. Many of you may know this institution as BAPENAS. And Mr. Eric Kinsu, a Senior Water Resources Specialist at the Asian Development Bank. Actually, I think it's probably better if we begin with Eric, followed immediately by Mr. Idris. Eric, may I ask you to kick things off? Thank you very much, uh, Tammy. <clears throat> good morning, good afternoon, uh, everyone, and very happy to be here to, uh, to provide an overview of what we've been uh, doing uh, in Indonesia through their partnership with uh, the Euro European Space Agency on ADB, and most importantly, uh, with our colleagues from the government. Uh, my, uh, my colleagues, uh, Mr. Abdul Malik Sadat Idris, will, uh, will provide some inputs on the water side of this uh, presentation and uh, I will take care of uh, the rest. Next, please. Yeah. Um, in Indonesia, uh, ADB has a long history of uh, being involved in the water sector and uh, we have been uh, doing a lot uh, and we are continuing our engagement to support the priority of the government of Indonesia. We are investing and will continue investing in, um, in flood resilience, uh, continuing also on irrigation. We are putting a lot of emphasis on uh, operation maintenance and to, to make sure that the infrastructure built are well uh, maintained. We are also expanding in the water supply uh, space, uh, um, <clears throat> bringing this uh, source to tap framework. And we are um, also working on, uh, on planning on technology and that's where <clears throat> the link with uh, ESA is very important because, um, because the data we, we obtain from, uh, from satellite are really helping us to, to better design projects, but also to prioritize investment knowing that uh, um, we have a fiscal uh, constraints as well in country and not all the uh, stock of infrastructure could be uh, financed. Next slide, please. We are also uh, expanding our uh, program in Indonesia in uh, agriculture, uh, looking at uh, horticulture, uh, developing also uh, aquaculture. Um, that's a new, uh, <clears throat> new uh, priority for government and for IDB. And uh, uh, for, for this, we are already also looking at um, boosting uh, use of uh, ICT and uh, satellite uh, technology to, to help uh, inform the projects, but again, to, to, to provide a better information to, uh, to our clients. And uh, BAPANAS is one of them. Next slide. And <clears throat> so as I said, uh, Earth Observation Services have been very, very helpful to, to help uh, design investment. We are facing a lot of uh, issue with uh, reliability of uh, data from the fields. Uh, as a water engineer, we are always keen to, to see more uh, data from the field on hydrology, but that's not always the case. So uh, again, accessing uh, data from ESA has been very helpful. And from the satellites, uh, from the satellite, we can see uh, things that we will not be able to see uh, from our own eyes uh, from the ground. So again, that has been uh, very helpful to, to access new type of information that help us to, um, to, uh, to improve our planning. Let me give the opportunity to my colleagues, uh, Abdul, to, to provide us uh, a quick overview on what we have been doing in water resources. And I'm, I'm glad because uh, Thomas was mentioning about uh, disaster management, uh, one of the um, um, support we, we got from uh, ESA is uh, for the um, 2018 uh, disaster in central Sulawesi. That was a um, combination of a tsunami, earthquake, and liquefaction. And Pabdul will uh, present us what we have done. Uh, Pabdul, over to you. Thank you, Pa Eric. Uh, 
Indonesian government in the last two years uh, have been received uh, well support from ESA and ADB, especially to provide access yeah, of the platform to uh, utilize the uh, satellite of, uh, from EOS services and to, uh, I mean, to increase the human resource capacity because to learn about these facilities and also to develop further, especially about the special algorithm or processing capability and synchronize with the current initiative of the each institution. Since each institution actually has already start to use this kind of remote sensing technique. Next. Uh, one of the, I mean, the support that we uh, give is after the tsunami and earthquake in Palu, yeah, that is uh, become the interest of a lot of scientific community, especially because there is a large scale of the liquefaction area. It, the, the disaster itself is 2018, and uh, most of the, uh, I mean, the damage is already devastated. And basically, when we start the build back better principle to reconstruct the Palu, we don't, we have almost nothing on the field yeah. Since uh, every uh, ground monitoring and uh, is disappeared, so the this the EOS uh, give us the capabilities. Uh, next slide. First, to do the rapid damage assessment, yeah, uh, and then to give the overview about the earthquake, the, the scale of the earthquake and the impact, the damage, uh, uh, the movement uh, bet, uh, between structure. And also help us to reconstruct, uh, to give the disaster map, yeah. This, uh, and after the construction began, the facilities also uh, give us the information the monitor uh, but the progress yeah so this uh, and the support basically is very effective uh, there is a, a immediate support uh, directly from ESA uh, for the first stages and later on some limited of the capacity building to introduce the platform and uh, several government official yeah and professional has been trained to to get now about these facilities next this is the result that uh, was uh, is it looks simple but it's around i think several months of the algorithm since the business uh, sorry the this disaster is new and uh, the the data that is available uh, by, by to reconstruct yeah this hazard uh, has been analyzed and need uh, special methodology and also calibration and computing capacity capacities. Uh, it took around three months, I think, to to produce this uh, map and uh, to calibrate with the expert panel. Yeah. Next, and one of the uh, I mean benefit to use this technology, how we can specifically reconstruct the behavior since the disaster of the earthquake will happen randomly yeah. and no, no, up to now nobody can predict where is at and when it's happened uh, so this this facilities provide us to reconstruct uh, especially about the liquefaction phenomena which area that actually yeah we, we could found at the time even before the earthquake, some area actually is already uh, moved. Uh, that is uh, shown by the red dots uh, before the uh, disaster struck. But uh, then we can compare after this, the destruction, uh, the, the, this, the earthquake uh, and tsunami happen. Next. The second area we cooperate with the ESN ADB is to support yeah, the major project of the integrated development of North Coastal Java. 
that is there is uh, uh, the, the, the the Java island is half of our population and uh, 90 almost 90 percent of uh, 80 more than 80 percent of our GDP is in Java and it's concentrated in North Java area uh, the population the economy and also the disaster we have uh, I mean uh, we experience yeah first of course uh, the uh, sea, sea level rise but we also uh, due to the lack of uh, one of them the geote geological properties and the uh, over abstraction of the groundwater we experience the land subsidence uh, next uh, this is uh, then we we i mean uh, to monitor that impact that is mostly in the coastal inundation the the these facilities has provide us to reconstruct many years of data and to analyze uh, quickly about the uh, flood event yeah uh, so this is the example from japan actually but uh, in the next slide the the result is especially for jakarta yeah uh, that is uh, our uh, metropolitan area with 28 million people we can uh, also the services compare because actually Indonesia government has uh, tried many years yeah to to monitor the land subsidence in Jakarta by using a ground GPS technology. So that collaboration between uh, EO processing services and the current data could produce better uh, better uh, information and data for decision support. So. Uh, and the same thing uh, later on the post seismic area of Sulawesi we can combine this uh, earth surfaces with the field data and uh, and uh, give the better more precision of course and reliability because this uh, satellite I think one of the beauty is it's really depend on algorithm but uh, the bias of the human factor yeah is uh, 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 less so we that's the problem uh, in especially in our setup of institution uh, a lot uh, in multi stakeholder institution in indonesia many agency uh, i mean try to produce their own data and how to integrate into uh, one meaningful data yeah this platform provide uh, us as uh, in bapena especially to coordinate the planning and uh, we can integrate the data after we compare uh, all the legacy data with the uh, the earth observatory data next okay i'll hand over to pa eric because this is the uh, the one that will be uh, in another sector thank you pa eric thank you very much uh, pa abdul and uh, <clears throat> just to had uh, pa abdul has been very modest uh, because um uh, the the works we have done with uh, esa has been uh, measuring um, building movements by the millimeter on this is uh, really, really uh, uh, something uh, that is uh, helpful. And uh, also we have been working very uh, closely with the um, Indonesian uh, Space Agency, LAPAN, to, to make sure that uh, we, we build and transfer knowledge uh, for them to operate the, um, the platform. Let me uh, continue uh, very short, uh, briefly on the uh, agri agriculture sector. As I said, we're expanding our operations in, uh, in the agriculture sectors. And we have some uh, working very closely with the Ministry of Agriculture. Next slide, please. To support this, uh, this planning, we, have, uh, <clears throat> we are benefiting for additional support from uh, ESA. And uh, again, a lot of uh, parameters that are not usually uh, visible uh, in the field uh, will be measured in the next couple of months to, to help us to, to better strategize this, uh, this investment and to make sure that <clears throat> we are targeting the right communities at the right place, uh, looking at different um, uh, factors from the quality of the land, uh, water and so on. Next slide, please. Uh, likewise, uh, we are also engaging with the Ministry of uh, Marine Affairs and Fisheries and uh, <clears throat> trying to, to, uh, to help uh, government to move to more sustainable uh, aquaculture. 
In doing so, we are also uh, benefiting from uh, additional support from uh, ESA. And uh, we are still uh, at a very early stage of this, uh, this activity. We expect to, to get, um, again, uh, parameters that are not uh, necessarily um, recorded uh, from ground data. Next slide, please. And for example, that includes uh, the <clears throat> movement of the coastlines, uh, mangrove deforestation, because aquaculture has been uh, a sector where <clears throat> mangrove have been affected by expansion. And we are trying to, to better understand what's going on and to, to, um, to put in place the right mitigation uh, measures to make sure that uh, future aquaculture will be uh, uh, environmentally uh, sustainable. Next slide, please. So in, uh, in short and in a nutshell, <clears throat> those, uh, those opportunities working with ESA has been uh, very uh, beneficial because it gives us access to cutting edge uh, technology that uh, was not available in country. It has been very helpful uh, for engineering works. Uh, for example, what Pa Abdul was presenting has been used a lot for uh, redesigning canals, uh, uh, pipe system and so on. The partnership has been well received on Padul is, uh, is a proof that <clears throat> the government agencies really appreciate this partnership and, and the transfer of knowledge aspect have been very important. It's also supporting uh, <clears throat> prioritization of investment, uh, knowing that there are some uh, fiscal constraints, especially with COVID. Um, we have been also uh, using some, uh, we haven't shown you, but uh, we, haven't, uh, we, we have used some uh, other applications to, to access information from the field, for example, uh, to, to monitor reconstruction because we are not um, able to, to travel those days because of COVID-19. And more importantly is also leverage uh, resources <clears throat> to do more in the, in the project that Abdul um, mentioned this uh, flood management uh, project in North Java. Actually, uh, we are in discussion with the Indonesian Space Agency to have a component under the loan to be uh, dedicated to uh, Earth observation services, again, capitalizing on the, uh, on the works we have done uh, with ESA. It's uh, currently costed to 9 million, it might change, but um, the point is that there is, um, uptake of this uh, technology. What will be needed in the future is to have a more systematic approach uh, through our projects to, to make sure that uh, Earth observation is, uh, is made available on day one when we are formulating investment, but also to have this continuity in terms of transfer of knowledge to our uh, uh, developing uh, member countries and in the long run to really uh, streamline the technology, knowing that uh, most of the platforms are open source and the data are publicly accessible. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to, to take some uh, questions. Over to you, Tammy. Thank you, Eric and Abdul. Uh, we'll circle back to this very interesting presentation we'll come back to in a bit.